Hi, I'm Lawrence Jay. I'm the Executive Director here at Rolling Ridge Retreat and Conference Center in North Andover. We just completed our first Trails and Sales event, um, which was the historic Fletcher Steel Garden Tour. Fletcher Steel um, was significant in designing the grounds here at Rolling Ridge, and we had the opportunity to be able to share with our community on um, the beauty and the wonder and the grandeur of this place. I've only been here at Rolling Ridge for nine months, but it's been wonderful to be able to learn about this facility and to be able to share with the people who came today about the significance that Rolling Ridge has had in the 100 year history here at this place. There were a lot of millionaires that lived um, in the New York area that wanted to go east for the summer and they were building country homes here in, in Massachusetts, in particular right around Lake Kachikowit. And so Ethan Allen was one of those millionaires. He was a wealthy wool manufacturer from New York, and he purchased this property in 1899 from a farmer. Um, his name, the farmer's was name was Winifred Hughes. And up until 1899, when Ethan Allen purchased the property, this land was primarily known for farming and agriculture. But with the, but with the, um, but with the coming of the railroads, there was a shift that was going on in the culture and in society. And so farmers were selling their property because farming wasn't as lucrative as it was a generation before. So farms were being sold and mansions were being built in this area. And Ethan Allen was one one of those people who was coming into this area. The architect who designed this place was Andrew Hepburn, and he designed the home in the Georgian Revival style with classic European and colonial American um, details. And, and that was to reflect Ethan Allen's financial success and worldly travels. Ethan Allen traveled to Europe on many occasions, and he appreciated what he found, what he saw in Europe, in, in Italy, and in, in, in England. And so Ethan Ethan Allen pulled a lot of those designs into his de, um, into the architecture here in this building while they were here um, during 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 the summertime, and so this area to the back of us here this this wing was this known as the servants wing they brought all their servants with them to occupy this this area including a place for the chauffeur the landscape person who had lived here year round but along with the maids and the butlers that traveled with the family and so this entire area back here was considered the servants wings this area over here was known as the carriage house and on the bottom level it was a place that carried their vehicles and on the top it was the guest house where um, overnight guests would come and stay. And so on our Fletcher Steel historical tour, we had the opportunity to show people the grounds, which included the Exedra, the uh, Bowling Green, the fountains, the cascades behind the fountains, along with the walk towards the um, Lakeview Lodge, um, which is currently um, called the Lakeside Landing right now, which used to be the boathouse. We also had the opportunity to be able to tour the inside of the house and to be able to share about the programs that we have available here at Rolling Ridge. Even though Rolling Ridge is not open to the public, we do offer a wide variety of programs to take care of people's wellness, spirituality, as well as leadership needs. Um, we have a variety of different events throughout the year, and so hopefully you'll be able to check it out at www.rollingridge.org. We look forward to seeing you sometime at the Ridge. Have a great day.